Here we have our equipment for making our emergency shelter. Uh, you'll see we have six stakes, two carabiners, and they do not have to be climbing carabiners. They can be like the casual ones because they're not holding that much weight. Two two foot lengths of paracord, a really long length of paracord. Um, all of the paracord together comes to about 50 feet, So, um, but keep one length really long. These are four four foot lengths two trekking poles, and a cheap poncho, $3.97 plus tax from Walmart. Um, as you can see, all of the paracord has been tied off with just overhand knots on the ends to create loops. And we're going to learn uh, two knots. One of them, our troop already knows, the prusik, and a butterfly knot that are gonna help us with what we're doing. So let me start that. All right, so our first two knots are the prusik knot. We're going to put them on our trekking poles. So we put our loop around the back, put the knot end through once, and through the loop again, make it nice. And then it's gonna slide up to the top. And then we're gonna loop it through the hand, not the handles, but the um, ties of our trekking poles. Um, it's gonna give it stability, it's for suspending our main line through. So that's one prusik. Let's do it again. So it's a loop. You put the knot through and go around, put the knot through and go around again. Slide it up. Put it through our ties. So those are our two prusiks. And then the new knot that I just learned is a butterfly knot. What's nice about the butterfly knot is that um, I, I'm trying to figure out what's the better way of doing it because it's essentially making a loop in the middle of a um, in the middle of the cord. So normally I would just do an overhand knot to make a loop, but when you pull on it, you can see it's still giving stress. So I'm guessing that's why they use this knot. So the new knot is a butterfly knot. Um, you take your ends, you make one loop, and then you make a second loop, keeping, see how these two are still on top? Then you're gonna flip it up at the cross, flip it up to the top, so it can go around the back and through the middle, and then pull. You can see why it kind of looks like, they call it a butterfly knot, because it makes this beautiful shape and then when you pull it oh, let me see if I can tighten it first when you pull it it doesn't all the stress goes left right and none of it goes on the loop part which is kind of cool so you're gonna need to tie four of these um, they're going to occur at the ends of our cord for where it stakes and then we're going to lay out our cheap poncho and you're going to tie it at either end of the poncho. So I'm back, I have to redo a section. Here's our, um, here's our grommets. Our first part of making our pup tent is going to be taking the four foot loop lengths and putting them through the four corner grommets of our poncho and doing just a cow hitch. So loop through the loop. On each of the four corners, that's where we're going to stake down our tent. And then the support for the tent comes from the long line going through it and attaching at the trekking poles. And one more. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And our last one. together there's very little prep for this and it doesn't take very long to put it together which is really helpful <laughs> that's 
스며들고 지알람이 딩 창문 사이에 빛은 딩 일어나라 너 말이 잔소리는 마치 한대로 반복의 소리 교복은 마치 잠옷이 누구겨 그 안에는 사복까지 죽여 잠자고 싶어 등도길에 안에내 찌거리며 잠자는 법 떠드는 애 친구 보는 애 앞머리 관리 본 게임 하는 애 소종 땡 진짜 마치 선생님은 자는 애내 잔소리 해 우린 나의 겪어봤으면서 왜 모르는 척해 자꾸 뭐라 해 불평 늘어봤자 나도 열받지 요정서 니가 땡땡땡 아 it's time for our next installment of emergency shelters this all these bags together uh make up a hammock setup so i'm gonna set it up this is where i'm staying tonight hope you'll enjoy